Chhattisgarh gears up for the second and final phase of elections scheduled on November 17. Of the 90 assembly constituencies in Chhattisgarh, the second phase of voting will be held in 70 seats spread across 22 districts of the state. The polling time in all the 70 constituencies is from 8 am to 5 pm, except 9 polling booths in the Naxal affected Bindranwagar seat in Rajim district, where voting will be held from 7 am to 3 pm. In the second phase, the political fate of 958 candidates, including 827 men, 130 women, and one transgender candidate, will be decided by an estimated 1.63 crore voters. The voters include 81.4 lakh male, 81.72 lakh female, and 684 third gender voters. As many as 18,833 polling booths have been set up for the second phase of elections in Chhattisgarh. Of these polling booths, 700 are Sangwadi booths, which will be managed by women-only polling personnel. Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel in Patan seat, Assembly Speaker Charandas Mahant in Shakti, Deputy CM T.S. Singh Deo in Ambikapur, and eight state ministers, including Tamadhwaj Sahu in Durg Rural and Ravindra Chaube in Saja, are among prominent candidates from Congress in this phase. From BJP, State Chief and MP Arun Sao is contesting from Lormi. Leader of Opposition in Chhattisgarh, Narayan Chandel is in the fray from Jajgir Chapa. Union Minister of State for Tribal Affairs, Renuka Singh has got the BJP ticket in Bharatpur Sonhar. Now this is a seat reserved for STs. BJP MP Gomti Sai has also got a ticket from the ST reserved seat of Pathalgao. Senior MLA and former Minister Brij Mohan Agarwal is fighting from Raipur South, Ajay Chandraka from Kurud and Punnulal Mohile is in the fray from Mungeli. Chief Minister Baghel has been contesting from his traditional Patan seat where BJP has fielded his distant nephew and party MP Vijay Baghel. The entry of Amit Jogi, the state president of Janta Congress and son of former Chief Minister Ajit Jogi in the fray from Patan has added another dimension to the contest. BJP has fielded a fresh face Rajesh Agarwal against T.S. Singh Deo in Ambigapur. Agarwal had joined BJP after quitting Congress ahead of the 2018 Assembly elections. On the last day of campaigning, Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, Himanthu Bishwahorma and Rahul Gandhi were among the prominent leaders who canvassed for their respective parties. Notably, just ahead of the second phase, Congress announced that if the Grand Old Party retains power in the state, women would get an annual financial assistance of Rs. 15,000. The announcement is seen as a counter to BJP's promise of giving Rs. 12,000 per year to married women of Chhattisgarh. I have talked about the free bus ticket in Karnatak, but I have talked about Chhattisgarh. It is about 15,000 rupees. 15,000 rupees in a year. Now let's look at the history of elections and political parties in Chhattisgarh. The BJP was in power in Chhattisgarh for 15 years from 2003 to 2018 and now Congress is ruling the state for the last five years. Chhattisgarh has always witnessed a close contest in terms of vote share. However, in 2018, Congress swept the state by winning 68 of the 90 assembly seats. The landslide victory ended BJP's 15-year rule in the tribal-dominated state. BJP was reduced to only 15 seats while the JCC or Janta Congress and BSP backed 5 and 2 seats respectively. In the 2018 assembly polls, Congress had won 51 of the 70 constituencies that will see elections in phase 2. BJP won 13 of these seats that will see elections in phase 2. Janta Congress managed 4 seats while Bahujan Samajwadi Party or BSP managed only two. Congress later won one more seat in the bipole. 
the current strength of congress in chatisgarh is 71 well that's all for now thanks for watching